This is the other thing I defined, tag stripper. It strips HTML tags off of uh, strings if, if they bring any HTML in. And I think that's being called up here. Yeah, I'm stripping HTML from each of the objects. And basically this is using this class down here, which I found off of some Stack Overflow website or something. And it basically is just calling uh, the HTML parser that Python has in its built-in library. And it's um, returning a string without uh, HTML. That's all it's really doing. It's pretty simple. Um, let's see here. Some of this code looks a little more intimidating than it really should because it's just a lot of data entry. That's all it really is. Like. Uh, most of this stuff is pretty simplistic. All I'm doing is just kind of formatting the data to be put into the database itself. So, um, yeah, let's see, store and database. So this is um, the function that's actually storing all the data. Um, well, it's the function that's calling the functions that need to store the data in the database. And it's first calling this function, which uh, is just basically mapping all the data that we've gotten um, from the items into the database itself per film that we're, that we're uh, scraping. So one thing I should point out is I'm actually using that item get function that I was telling you about before because some of these items can have null values or just you know don't get defined which will throw some sort of error if you don't um, accommodate that or you know you don't deal with that um, so I'm just setting it to have a default value of a blank string that way I don't get any errors and it just adds it to the database um, and basically this is just calling cursor execute insert into films and then you define all of the rows that you want to insert into in the order that you want to insert them into and then the values are um, all these question marks represent uh, each of these, so in order, so title, rating, ranking, etc. And the reason I have all these backslashes all over the place is uh, it's a m way of doing multi-line um, stuff that normally would have to be on a single line in Python. Uh, if you don't have those, you'd have to do all of this on a single line, which would look terrible and be super ugly to look at and hard to deal with in the first place so I just added that um, and yeah that's pretty much it as far as this goes uh, you have to call self commit or self connection commit for these items to actually be populated in the database um, otherwise they actually won't go in the database so that's a really important one and then last, uh, last but not least after this function right here executes um, this uh, cursor object stores uh, the actual row ID so in films this ID uh, that was just inserted for this particular film um, and it stores it in a local variable and the reason we need that is because as you may or may not remember down here in the actors table uh, we defined film ID, and that's a way of re relating uh, the actors to the film. Um, so we're storing that, and then once we are uh, ready, we loop through uh, the cast member item, which is uh, a list of all the cast members as we defined in the spider, or no, we defined in the item, sorry cast members, this connects to the cast items, and the cast items are uh, um, like this. There are each of these people, obviously. And let's see. Uh, so it loops through each of the cast members, and then it calls uh, per cast member uh, store actor info in DB and it passes in this cast item and the film ID and the film ID we pulled right here and this is the actual function itself so we're calling uh, cursor execute insert into actors film ID actor name etc etc and then we're mapping we're using 
uh, this parameter, the film ID, and then we're stripping out the HTML from each of these because the actor name could have some HTML in it or the character name. And the, and the great thing about that strip HTML function is if it doesn't have any HTML in it, it doesn't harm uh, anything at all. It just leaves the string how it was. Um, and then we're calling strip. And what strip does is it's a built-in Python function. And I can explain that with an example. Say we have this string, this string, with a bunch of like leading characters and unnecessary white space and all that. Strip just says, hey, uh, all the front space right here, take it out, and all the back space right here, take it out, because you don't need that. And then it returns the string. So that's all it does. It's just a way of cleaning uh, your string. Um, and then we're committing that to the database once it's done. And um, unless I'm forgetting something, I believe uh, that covers this whole pipeline. The pipeline's, you know, moderately simple. It looks like a lot just because there's a lot of fields, and that's really all it comes down to. It's fairly simple. Um, and the last thing I'm going to cover real quick is the settings. I think I may have covered this in the last video, but I may as well do it again just for you guys' sake. Uh, I um, set the download delay to 5 seconds and the um, concurrent request to 250. I actually probably wouldn't run it with this value set because that's kind of a lot, but um, basically what this does is it makes it so that between each uh, page request it delays by 5 seconds. And then the concurrent thing is um, how many actual page requests can you have at the same same time? Um, it actually turns out that this it it, it actually won't do it, it'll wait five seconds each time for each one of these, so it really doesn't matter if you actually set it to this. This is probably gonna work just fine. The reason you do this is because you can get banned from web servers if you hit their page too fast and too often. Um, so it's just kind of a safety mechanism. You may still get banned, so I'm, you know, I'm not liable if you guys get banned from IMDb if you hit them too much, but, um, this is a way of kind of mitigating that risk to a certain degree. You can, and you can set this to however much you want. You can set it to 50 seconds or a minute or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, just whatever you're comfortable with. And, and probably the less often you hit their page, the more likely uh, you won't get banned. That that would be my kind of common sense logic for you. Um, but all in all, I think that covers just about everything I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any more scrapey requests or whatever, or, or other tutorials you'd like me to do, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a, a message on... Uh, YouTube, and I will do my best to get back to you and fill your request. Um, otherwise, uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this, and give me feedback. I, I really appreciate um, even, uh, well, especially constructive criticism, not necessarily regular criticism, because that just kind of sucks, but constructive feedback would be highly appreciated. Um, Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. All right, bye.